All right, Tickens fans, it is that time again. We NPA week four match starts now. We've got Chris Cobain and the Baltimore Blazikins as our opponent. They are probably going to be the toughest opponents we have all season, so I'm not looking forward. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to battling, but I am not looking forward to facing what's going to be a really formidable opponent. But if you're hyped for the Sea Kings today, please smash that like button down below. I really appreciate it, and go... Sea Kings! What's going on everybody? Joder here, your coach of the Seattle Sea Kings for Season 2 of the National Pokemon Association. Today we're taking on Chris Cobain and the Baltimore Blazikens, and it is set to be the toughest match of the season here. So I've got uh, my team all picked out. We just did the team builder, went up yesterday. And today we're bringing Mega Manectric, Rotom Heat, Gengar, Bisharp, Crawdont, and Ferroseed. And we're taking on... In, in my guess is Deancey, uh, Mega Deancey, Garchomp, Jirachi, Celebi, Gligar, and Exploud. So not a whole lot of walls on my opponent's team, but a lot of big hyper offensive threats here. So definitely something we're going to watch out for. Anyway, without further ado, without delay, let's get this team picked out. I've got my super calc. I've got my, my list of everything he could possibly be bringing. So we're good to go. I am so nervous though. I got to admit to you right now. So we're going to see what he's bringing, how long this intro takes. I have no idea. Okay, and we hit... No, we did not guess it right. We're four out of six again. All right, so we're really bad at getting that spot on. So no Celebi. No Celebi. I should grab... Uh, I should grab the build over here. Where's Celebi? Celebi, Celebi. So Celebi, he brought Verizon instead. So Verizon instead. I'm not sure what that means for us. I'm not really sure. I didn't come prepared for it, but you know what? That's okay. And also he's got Drapion instead of, who did I have him bringing? Uh, no Gligar. So he brought Drapion instead. So that's fine. I think we still stick with our guns here and lead off with Spartacus because I think Spartacus can still take a hit from anything and fire back uh, pretty nicely. So we're going to lead Spartacus and see how it goes. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish grabbing Drapion over here and we're going to take this and make it go away because people have been complaining that, oh no, the bottom screen's on the screen for a second. It's the sky is falling. I don't know. Anyway, so now that we got that taken care of, where is Drapion in here? Why am I not finding Drapion on my little board? Oh, there it is. There's my little board. So no Gligar. So no ground coverage. Interesting. So Mega Manectric, once Verizian's down, can go to town on people now. Interesting. Oh, wow. He's taken a while to make his pick, probably because he was expecting Clefable and not seeing it there threw him for a whirl. That's what I'm hoping. I have no idea if that's correct or not, but that's what I'm hoping. So he's running out of time. He's got to make his pick. Oh my, six, five. I don't know if he's going to make it. I don't know if he's going to make it. All right, he made it. We have a couple seconds to spare. Oh boy, here we go. I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, I'm looking forward to the match, just not to, you know, it's, it's, I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous going into this. Oh boy, here we go. He leads with Mega Deancey. Oh, that's okay. It's not amazing. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of him leading. So that's a thing. And I've got a moment. I am packing an assault vest, so I can live one Moonblast from this thing. That much is for certain. So, I need to fix some things on my screen here that are causing issues. So I can get this loaded. Import. There we go. Okay. So, Mega Deancey does a solid 75% max to me. So, I think my best interest here is to go my best play. I know the odds of him going for Protect on the first turn are pretty likely. But still, I can go with a close combat and assuming I live, because... I mean, I'm guessing he's gonna... I'm guessing he's just gonna... He, would he let me die? Would he let me go down? Or would he let me... Would he not protect and let me go down first and get that close combat off? I don't know, because he doesn't know I have it necessarily. He might think Bullet Punch is coming. So let's go and get a close combat off on something. That'll be our play. That'll be our play. And then... If we live this, if he doesn't, if he doesn't, let us hit him and then follow up with a, uh, with a Moonblast, because that might take us out, uh, because of the Spadef drop. But if he doesn't do that, then we just follow up with a, with a Shadow Sneak and take it out. So, honestly, depending, the, given how long it's taking him, he might be swapping out. He might be swapping out, he might be expecting me to swap out, no, he's not. Okay, so he's going straight in. Now the question is, does he protect turn one, or does he hit me with something? 
That's the question. That's the question. He might be expecting a Swords Dance setup. He's going to protect. That's fine. That is fine. I do not mind that because it means that now he can't... He will outspeed, but he won't KO. That's the important factor. He will outspeed, will not KO. Uh, because I don't think he knows we're packing Assault Vest. So we're going to go ahead and close combat again, and then we're going to follow up with our Shadow Sneak and hopefully take this thing out. Close combat does 81 to 96, and Shadow Sneak does 18 to 24. So unless we get two min rolls here, I think we'll be okay. And even if we get two min rolls, actually 81.6 and 18.4 add up exactly. So we're going to see if he's any kind of fancy nature. This is not going to KO because of the Assault Vest, which is what we want. So we're going to get that close combat off. It's going to do... Eh, that's kind of a low roll from the looks of it. I'm hoping it wasn't as low as I feared. I'm hoping it wasn't as low as I feared. I could go for that... I could go for the Shadow Sneak right now just to take the chance. Take the chance, do the dance. But I'm not sure if I kill at this range. No, I, I got to do it. I got to do it. I'm already lowered. I got to go for it. He's going to protect again. I mean, I don't know what good that does for you, protecting. I mean, he was ex might be expecting me to go out. I should have gone out, actually, to be fair. Um, maybe he was expecting this, the Shadow Sneak and needed to know for sure. Maybe he needed to know for sure. I don't really know. All I know is if he goes out, I can go ahead and hit him with a, uh, a knockoff on pretty much anything. Or an Ice Punch. I could go for an Ice Punch here. Now, the question is, do I want to take that chance and risk Spartacus going down? If he makes, if he baits the overprediction successfully, I really need this Mega DNC to go down. That much is for certain. Um, but I'm almost willing to risk it. I'm almost willing to risk it. It's a 50 50 either way. It's a 50 50 either way. What's his best move? His best move is Moonblast. Moonblast, how much does Moonblast do to Pharisee? How much does Moonblast do to Pharisee? Oh god, and the phone's ringing. That's awkward. That's awkward. Really glad I don't have that in here. How about... He could go for that Diamond Storm, though. Diamond Storm ruins... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm gonna take the chance. I'm gonna take the chance. Do the dance. Here we go. Shadow Sneak. Come on. Come through. He's gonna withdraw. Oh, I, should, I shouldn't have done it. He's gonna go into MC Hammer. Who is MC Hammer? Oh, it's you. Of course it's you. That's gonna do nothing. That is gonna do nothing. That's actually gonna do more to me than it did to him. Which is fantastic. Now, on the plus side, I don't really need Spartacus for anything. I did It did its job and whittled Mega Diancy down. Uh, I, was, I'm, I mean, it's not in a position where it can get a kill at this point. So I'm kind of just down to let it drop. And then I can follow up with Crawdont here. Because unless he goes Outrage, if he's choice, he won't be able to, he won't be able to take out a Crawdont. Which is what I'm hoping for. So he didn't reveal... Did he, did he do Rocky Helmet damage? No, I don't think he did Rocky Helmet damage. Uh, we'll find out. We're, we're just gonna, I'm just going to let this thing go down. I'm going to let this go down. It's a, it's a shame. It sucks, but I'm letting it happen. I mean, unless he thinks I'm trying to preserve it. I really am not trying to preserve it. So I'm hoping he, I'm hoping he just finishes me off. I'm really hoping he just finishes me off. What you going to do when I come for you? Seriously, what's he doing? I have no clue. I, he could go for a number of moves here right now. He's going to go for Stealth Rock. He's going to set up Stealth Rock? Are we serious right now? Are we serious right now? We're going to get that Ice Punch off? Oh, he's got a Yachi Berry. Still, that's going to hurt. Mm, wow, that didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. So he reveals... Oh, wow, we're living on one. Damn, we're living on one. All right. Well, that happened. Spartacus coming through here. Got his Stealth Rocks up. I mean, I think it's just time we Shadow Sneak and just let this thing go down. So let's do that. Let us do that. We're going to go for that Shadow Sneak. We're going to drop. But the important factor is he's going to take as much damage as possible. Rough Skin's going to kill us. That's okay. Um, so we are down. Spartacus coming through, though. He's going to go for EQ. So good to know that he's not uh, hes not any kind of... I could just come in with uh, Crawdont and Aqua Jet. That might be the way to go. That very well might be the way to go here. Because I really don't want to let him get an Outrage off. Aqua Jet. How much do I do? I just realized, though, I can come in safely with... Um... Oh, wait. Why am I even thinking about this? Why am I even thinking about this? Mega Man's my play. Mega Man's my play because, worst case scenario, I scare him with HP Ice. Um, because he's probably thinking that's what I'm bringing out. And maybe he goes for Jirachi. I don't know. 
Uh, but the thing is, I'm going to Mega, and my Hidden Power is actually Steel, so I'm not going to use it. Um, let's see, what takes an HP Ice the best out of everything here? Uh, HP Ice does nothing to you, nothing to you. He could go into Jirachi here. He could go into Jirachi here. And worst case scenario, worst case scenario, Flamethrower will kill for sure. So let's go for the Flamethrower and take this thing out. Alright, we're gonna, he's going to stay in, that's okay, he's just letting this go down. Perfectly fine. I don't know, maybe he'll think we were going for a prediction here and still have HP Ice. I don't want him to know we have HP Steel, that's what I'm concerned about. That's what I'm afraid of, is that he figures that out. He outspeeds! What? How did he outspeed? That's not right, what the hell? What the hell? 187. 169. He's not scarfed. What just happened? I invested in speed. What? What? There's no sticky webs on the field? Oh, I'm an idiot. It's modest from Mega Man. From, or from regular Manectric. I'm a dumbass. I'm such a dumbass. God damn. Oh, that's gonna kill me! That's gonna cost me this whole game. That's gonna cost me this whole game right there. Good lord. Good frickin' lord. Alright, we're just going for the Aqua Jet. We're just finishing this thing off. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I was like, oh, we can run Modest, we'll be fine. If that was Timid, I would have outsped. If that was Timid, I would have outsped. That's so disappointing. That is so frickin' disappointing. I can't believe I let myself do that. I'm so mad right now. I'm actually really pissed off at myself for not realizing that. Mm, I should have just... Uh, I should have gone into Cronut in the first place. I should have gone into Cronut in the first place. We would have been okay. And hold on. Let me make sure he's not like... Ugh. All right. No, I was making sure he wasn't like sending me any messages. He was not expecting that to drop. I wasn't expecting that to drop. Now I'm in a really, really crappy situation. Because that was my answer to outspeeding Mega Diancie, and it just, it's gone now. It's gone now. So basically, I ha well, then again, Crawdon can finish off with a little bit of Aqua Jet love. So I'm really hoping, yeah, no, here we go. We're going to finish that off. Garchomp's going to drop. Yeah, get out of here, Garchomp. That thing has caused me so much trouble. So much trouble. I think he goes out into Verizon here. It's a safe play. It is the safe play. And honestly, Verizon is the one thing that handles my team, or that handles Crawdon specifically. Although... A crab hammer at plus one will still kill. So that's a thing. Please go into Drapion. Can you go into Drapion? I really hope he goes into Drapion. He's not going to go into Drapion, but it'd be nice. It'd really be nice. God, my entire speed core is gone. Mega Manectric is gone. My my Shadow Sneak priority is gone. Literally, Crawdon's the only priority I have left. That is so bad. That's such a bad turn of events. Unbelievable. All right, well, Garchomp's down. Garchomp is down. Mega Dancy will drop next, but he's not sending that in. Um, I mean, I think I think it's easy that his play is uh, is Verizon here. I th think if he goes into how much health do I have? What left? So 92 over 139. I've got 66% left. If he goes for a U-turn, oh, it's, he needs a max roll to kill me with a U-turn if he's got any kind of uh, unless he's got Life Orb. Unless he's got a life orb. So I might be able to go into a D-Dance if uh, Jirachi shows up, which would be nice. It would really, really be nice. Wouldn't it be nice? No, I'm just kidding. What's he doing? I don't know. He's taking a long time with this turn. He is taking a long, long, long time with this turn. Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed I made that play! Okay, that's probably the last time, though, that I'm running Modest uh, Manectric, unfortunately, because I can't let myself do that again. I can't let something stupid like that happen. Subwoofer? Oh god. Subwoofer. Focus Blast. Focus Blast is your answer to me. Actually, Boom Burst is your answer to me, so that's the thing. Who outspeeds here? I mean, you're probably Scarf, so you outspeed here. If I were if I were a guessing man at this point. So let me see. Explode gets 120 and Crawdont gets what? Crawdont gets 117. Oh my god, that's gonna be close. Although he could very well be Scarf anyway. How much damage does an Aqua Jet do to this thing? How much damage does an Aqua Jet do? 61 to 81? 
I hate that I'm making plays like this already. I hate that I'm doing this. I can't go into Gengar. I physically cannot afford to go into Gengar right at this moment. I have to follow up with Gengar because Gengar uh, is my only answer to this thing. I mean, I can, I can safely Sludge Bomb and not worry about missing if this goes down. If I could get a crit right now, that'd be great. That would be fantastic. Oh wow, that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. He's gonna go for Boom Burst, it's the right play. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unfrickin' believable. Well, it'd be nice to know if he's Scarfed, but I have to basically kill something off to figure that out. So... Wait, what was that? Is he bulky? He's running a bulk set? I might have been able to outspeed then if he ran bulk. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not looking forward to this thing. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Do I really have to run... Oh, do I really have to run Focus Blast to kill this thing? I think I do. I think I have to leave it to a Focus Miss. Just to take it out. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I could lose right now with a miss here. If I miss here, I'm done. It's over. It's already over. Alright, Focus Blast, it's happening. It's happening! Oh my god, please don't stare. Please don't go out and please don't miss. I mean, I could take out the Deancey uh, with a Focus Blast. Focus Blast takes out... Uh, it doesn't take out Jirachi. J Jirachi would probably be a good switch in here. Doesn't touch Verizon, and it does about half to... A little over half to Drapion. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, Subwoofer, what are you doing? I don't see a I don't see a situation here where he stays in, but I'm hoping he thinks that Drapion can take it. I don't know. I don't know. I really am not sure. All I know is bottom line is I miss, it's over. I'm gonna get solidly 5-0'd, maybe 4-0'd if I can pull a kill off here. Or just pick someone off, you know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm saying. On the plus side I have Ferrisseed left, so Ferrisseed can kind of hang with most of things other than uh, most of the things other than Exploud, so I guess that's something. But good lord, he takes a long time on his turns. I must, uh, I must admit. But he's probably weighing the pros and cons of two situations right now: one where he switches and one where he stays in. The stay in option would mean that he's guaranteed a 5-0 on the off chance I miss. If Gengar misses, he can go clean through. If he switches out, oh, <gasps> he stayed in. He stayed in. Yes, we got him. Oh my god, we got him. Oh, that scared me. Oh my god, I'm so glad we got that. That x is the biggest threat on this field. Uh, bar Mega Deancey. Oh my god, get over here. Comes in, and that's his Drapion. What does Drapion do? Knock off? Yeah, it just does knock off. Do I have a uh, one-shot answer to this thing? No, not really. No, not really. That's unfortunate. What do you have for Rotom? You have Aqua Tail and for... Uh, you just have knockoff for, uh, for Ferrisseed. So I think my play is to go out into, I mean, I could go, could do a couple things here. I, I might go into Rotom Mixtape. That might be my answer. That might be my answer for now. If I go into Rotom Mixtape and he goes Aqua Tail, I'm screwed. I mean, it might be too obvious. It might be too obvious of a play. I, I feel like I might have to make that prediction on it being too obvious of a play. Because I don't really need Gengar to take out, uh, like, Ferrisseed can, can finish off Mega Dancy. And I can safely go into Rotom. Rotom cleans through, uh, half this team here. Um, yeah, I hate that I'm doing this, but I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to stay in and risk the, uh, focus miss again. There it is! We're coming through! Can I get a crit? No, I cannot get a crit. He goes for knockoff. It was an obvious hit. I just felt too obvious. That's why I didn't want to go out. That's why I did not want to go out. Alright, so I can't... Oh, he's lefties. That's great. Drapion at leftovers. Alright, overheat will kill. Overheat will kill, so we got that going for us. Uh, yep, I'm down to my two walls. This is not a good situation. This is not a good situation at all. Oh my god, those rocks do so much damage. Alright, here we go. We're going in with, uh... 
going in with overheat. And we're just praying at this point. I need Drapion to go down. Or we miss. That's that's over. That's that's gone. There's no coming back from that miss. There is no coming back from that miss. That's so unfortunate. This is gonna be a 3-0. Here we go again. Here we go again. Can I connect, please? Can I connect, please? There we go. Okay, Drapion, if not Assault Vested, will go down to this. Oh my god, is he Vested? Or was that just a low roll? Come on! Oh my god! I'm sorry, that's annoying. That's annoying. I'm not saying I shouldn't have lost to Chris because he's an excellent battler, but that was one stupid play followed by two misses here that are going to cost me the game. Going to completely cost me the match. <laughs> that moment when your play is Leech Seed. No, it really isn't. I got a Gyro. I got a Gyro. I'm going to take a knockoff and then an HP Fire from Deancey will finish me off. He's going to go for the knockoff. That's going to hurt. Well, it didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. Oh, I should have gone for Stealth Rock! I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I could have set up rocks here. I'm making all, I'm making all the wrong plays. See, now I'm flustered, so now I'm just making bad plays. Alright. Well, on the plus side, we took out three of his guys. He's got that HP fire on lock. I know he does. I know he does. On the plus side, we can... Uh, we are going to be ahead of Poke Troll because I am pretty sure... Oh, wait, no. Well, I gotta hope. I gotta hope that Mario... Because I'm pretty sure he lost. Because he's going up against a tough opponent. I just gotta hope that he loses by 4-0 or more. So... Let's just gyro. We gyro again. If he has HP fire, he wins. Yep, HP fire. GG. That'll do it. That'll do it. There's no coming back from that one. GG, Chris. That was not my best performance. I very easily should not have made that play. I could have run Timid, Mega Manectric, or I could have just... I could have just... Oh, there's so many things I could have done. I could have, gone, could have gone into Crawdont first, and that would have saved me. But, unfortunately, this is going to be putting us at 3-1. and one. We lose our undefeated streak. Chris will continue to be undefeated, and I'm not mad at him. He played flawlessly, but I'm very much salty in my own performance there. So, well then. Next week... Who do we even play next week? I don't, once again, I did not figure that out. NPA Season 2. Here we go. So next week, we go up against... Next week, we go up against... We take on... As soon as the page loads. As soon as the page loads. We take on the Adelaide Umbreons, coached by Kriselki. That's not going to be an easy match, because she only lost by one to A-Drive. And her team scares the bejesus out of me as well. So, tough loss. We'll try to come back from it. But... I don't have anything else to say. So hit that like button down if you're down below if you're supportive of the Seattle Sea Kings if you think we're gonna come back in the next week. And yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. This is Jodor signing out. Peace.